One of the main reasons visitors come to Arctic Norway each winter is to view Aurora Borealis, the northern lights. One man who's been coming up here for years, but still gets wildly excited every time he sees them, is larger-than-life English astronomer Nigel Bradbury. Well, who'd have thought five and a half hours ago I was in southern England, and now here I am in northern Norway, looking at a truly stunning display of the aurora. Everyone's getting very excited now as the whole thing begins to build. Here you can see now the green colour of the aurora. Most of the colour you see, by the way, is going to be green. And now, there it is, look, there you can clearly see it. The aurora corona coming down from the zenith, right the way down onto the western horizon there. What a stunning display indeed. Indeed, it could even start to ripple and form into a curtain. The whole thing is moving rapidly down toward the horizon there. And hopefully we can see those magical aurora curtains. The thing that you just cannot capture on a photograph. The movement, the pulsations and the flickering of the aurora. And there you can clearly see it now begin to form the blues are visible on the lower half of the aurora. They can see the blue there, and some reds have also been reported. It's broken now, they can see, into two separate segments, and now it's beginning to striate. There are the magical striations. The movement is coming right the way down toward the horizon. The whole thing is forming into a wonderful, wonderful moving curtain. Look at the detail there. You can't capture that on any photograph. Marvellous. You're probably wondering how the aurora is formed. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from the sun. It's called solar plasma, and it comes across deep space. It hits the Earth's atmosphere, which comes down through the Earth's magnetosphere. It hits the south and north magnetic poles. It spirals into these poles, where it's excited to incandescence by the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere, which, of course, gives off this green colour. So with us tonight, we have an expert photographer. The camera is on a tripod looking at this beautiful vista of auroral light. Here you can see the colours of the aurora, the blue and the green, very, very sharply focused. What you can't do is take a picture with a mere snapshot camera. You need a time exposure. Just look at this photograph. It shows the beauty of the northern lights, the aurora, shining over that fjord. It's reflecting beautifully in that water there. The water, as you can see, it's as flat as glass. Well, after an evening like that, the photograph is the wonderful thing to record even the moon. And look at the brilliance of the aurora there. Even the full moonlight doesn't stop you seeing it. It's a wonderful and fitting end to a night under the aurora. 